You know, we've talking about the rotation to value for a long time, and as we all know, it's all about the timing when it comes to that. You have said when there's a snapback, it can be quick and it can be fast. Do we see some kind of obvious, you know, major move to value from growth, or does the Fed just end up backstopping, you know, everything that's growth in this market from Amazon to Tesla? Well, the Fed's interventions are certainly an enormous contributor to the uh, and and uh, uh, fiscal stimulus also an enormous contributor to this growth bubble that we've been seeing. But the spread in valuation between growth and value is the widest ever, wider than at the peak of the tech bubble. Based on price to book value ratios, growth stocks are now 12 times as expensive as value stocks. So the question is, are the growth stocks going to grow fast enough to justify those prices? That's a stretch. Are the value stocks going to flounder badly enough to justify their deep discounts? That's an even bigger stretch because um, what was feared a year ago, or not quite a year ago, was massive bankruptcies in the value segments of the market. The um, stimulus programs have, if, if, if nothing else, have sharply reduced the risk of sweeping bankruptcies among value stocks, which leaves them very cheap. Um, now, bubbles last until they don't. So one of my um, uh, observations on bubbles is don't short them. That's very dangerous. They can go longer. They can go higher mm. than anyone might, any skeptic might find imaginable.